Hi everyone, so today's video is going to be a vlog and haul of the London Pet Show. I did go along on the Saturday, had a really good time, met a ton of you guys who came and had a chat with me which was really good and really nice of you, thank you if you came up to me and I hope you liked your little badges and it was a really great weekend so I've got a vlog, I'm going to do it a bit differently this year rather than just being to music, I'm going to do a little bit of talking through the vlog and tell you what was there, what it was and what we were doing and then at the end I'll show you what I purchased. So we actually had a long travelling journey to get to the London Pet Show. We came from quite a way off and did have to stay over. We were just on the underground here. I'm actually scared of the underground but I actually was okay once I got used to it. And then we finally arrived at XL after a long journey and arrived at the pet show. This year we tried to, to watch much more performances and talks and workshops and then we kind of went around the, the dog and cat, scheduled what we wanted to see and then went shopping towards the end of the day. And I think here they were filming maybe the video that goes up and they had cute little gift shops and things. So this was just some dog agility that we were watching and a few different dogs were performing which was really good. It was nice to see kind of small dogs and then bigger dogs and see how they were different on the agility course. And then this was super duper cute. It was a dance performance by a dog, uh, Jack Russell, and a, I'm not sure what type of horse it is. I don't think it's a Shetland pony. I think it's one of those mini horses. I didn't really get to see it up close, but they did a dancing performance to the, well, it was supposed to be the Lion King, but they did have some Jungle Book songs in there. And it was super duper cute. So after watching a few different things and getting involved in some workshops and talks, we went round the dog and cat section and this little dog shed is perfect for rabbits. And we met people from the PDSA and all sorts of different stalls and had a good chat with people, got a few freebies. I saw my favourite dog, French Bulldogs, I was so excited, they are so adorable, I really really want one. And in the pet shows you see various different breeds of dogs and you get to talk with their owners and all about the breed and learn more about them which is really cool. Especially for someone like myself who hasn't personally owned a dog before. We also met Shadow. Shadow was featured on a recent TV programme. I'm not sure what it was but we met Shadow. And I thought these little cat kennels were super cute. I really want to make one for the guinea pigs. They were very expensive though. And they had adorable little stalls like this all over the pet show. We also watched this talk which was all about cats and this lady had done different training techniques with a cat and that was really interesting. So we then went and looked at all of the kind of farm animals. So they had horses, Shetland ponies, pigs, chickens, Pretty much any animal you could think of, there were alpacas, so I was very excited to meet those and you could interact with them and everything. I loved the pigs and what I really liked is the majority of the animals seen here are rescues. For example, the chickens are actually expatriate hens that they rescue and rehome. The ones they had with them were actually recent rescues, so I really enjoyed talking with them in particular and learning more about the chickens and what they do. Thank you. 
So we then walked over to the reptile section. Of course, I wanted to see the tortoises in particular, but we did look at all of the different animals. There were lizards, insects, snakes, pretty much everything you could ever think of. What was really interesting this year as well, they actually had much more insects. So they had caterpillars and butterflies. So a lot more variety this year than there has been the last year I went and also at the Birmingham one. So finally here are the giant tortoises. I was so excited to see these guys. I think you all know how desperate I am to one day adopt in a giant tortoise, a cutter tortoise. I really, really want one. And this guy was so friendly. He was called Todd and he was so nosy. He was walking around and every time someone put their hand into such a shell, he was really sticking his neck out to have a look at them. He was so cheeky and nosy. This is probably one of my most favourite areas, apart from the small pet area, to be because I just love tortoises. <clears throat> and there were lots of talks going on in the reptile area, lots of showing. They had reptiles out and letting people handle different reptiles and insects and things. So it was really interesting. I wasn't too fond of this spider, <laughs> but they had lots of various different insects. Then going over to the fish section, they had a good variety of fish this year and one thing I really liked was that they had pond fish this year which I haven't seen them do the two times I've been to this kind of show and I thought it was really nice that they included pond fish. I did also get a fish goodie bag from this area. And here are the ponds. I think these are really cool because the side of them is like a plastic see-through area so you can look at the fish through the side and through the top. We then were heading over to the small pet area but we did stop at the bird section on the way also. So here's a few small pet dolls and shops and things and here are the birds last year when I went to the lunch show they only had smaller birds like canaries and budgies so it was really nice to see some cockatiels and parrots and bigger birds and they were do doing talks on these birds as well and letting people handle them and stroke them they also had a couple of huge aviaries set up as you can see now so travel kind of aviary type things which were really good and they were doing talks whilst inside the aviaries We then headed back over to the small animal section so you can see the manapet housing there and a couple of kind of cage stalls and they had a bunny with them this year at manapet housing which I thought was really cute. And as usual they also had these bunny warren type cages and lots of displays on them. This is a Burgess XL had two stalls, so they had one with all their food items, but they also had this one, which was where they were doing talks on how to forage for rabbits and guinea pigs and about their new foods, the new diets, and how they differ from the old food. So it was really interesting, and I really enjoyed listening to what they had to say and what they were talking about. This area is also the area where willow making workshops were going on, so we made a few willow items there were also various different small animals we saw rabbits hamsters ferrets rats chinchillas guinea pigs a good selection here's the hamster society stall a few hamsters in cages I wish they'd do more kind of advertising for bin cages because not many people know about them so if there was someone that could kind of bring some to show it would be really interesting. Here we have the chinchillas. And finally saving the best to last, piggy pig pigs. 
and she had Brian and Bo with her. I was super excited to see the little piggies and speak with Laura from Piggy Pig Pigs again. She's always so nice to me and my friends. So, and she's been such an inspiration with the shop and everything. So it was really nice to speak with her and look at all her items. So now I'm going to move on to the haul and I did get a few freebies so I'll show you the freebies first and then I'll go ahead and show you the things I purchased. So I obviously had to pick up the official show guide for the National Pet Show and I try and pick up the one of these every single time. Usually the pet show actually do a goodie bag as you come in and it includes dog or cat food and um, maybe like poop bags that kind of thing but they didn't do it this year which I was a little bit disappointed about. They just gave provided the show guide and that was it so usually they do a nice little goodie bag but never mind so i still picked up the show guide and this includes all the people that were there information on what was going on this year we tried to see a lot more things usually we just kind of go shopping go around the stalls and just see what we find but we tried to see a lot more this year and it has a lot of the adverts that of the stalls there and what was going on so I do like to keep these as a little souvenir and these are all the pets that were in the show so I always like to pick that up and it's something nice to keep from it so the first kind of freebie I got was this bag and a few little bits from BVNA Veterinary Nursing Awareness Month and there were basically loads of veterinary nurses there and we got to speak to a few of them and they were really really super nice telling us what they do and everything and I got this free kind of gym type bag off them and there was also some freebies inside and I'm not sure why there's two of each but I got two pens, two of these little ribbons kind of pin badge things and two of these little really adorable little fluffy nurse veterinary nurse type googly eyed things that you can stick somewhere so they're really cute i also did get this free bag from pdsa and these guys always give out freebies and we were talking to, for ages with these guys because well there was a particular lady who was chatting to us for ages about so many different things and she was so nice and I was telling her kind of about the guinea pigs and my friend was telling her about her dogs and rabbits and, and guinea pigs and everything and this is a really good bag actually it's a huge bag and it's a nice strong one and this is what I was using to carry all of the items I purchased in because it was the perfect size. I also got a free goodie bag by Fluval so the fish company they do fish tanks and things they had some amazing fish with them and as you'd have seen in the vlog they actually had pond items this year which is really good because I obviously don't have a tank at the moment but I do have pond fish it was really interesting to see the different type of ponds they had available especially with the ones with the glass see-through sides I thought they were really cool but I did get this goodie bag for from Fluval. I wish they would do a goodie bag aimed at pond fish or a goldfish because this is a tropical fish pack but they don't really provide you with any kind of free goodie bags if you've got cold water fish but anyway it was still a nice little item free so I got a couple of a leaflets and a, a booklet here all about kind of what they do. This is a nice booklet because it's a care guide to an aquarium so obviously they specify in tropical aquariums. I also got a free trial pack of the Fluval Tropical Fish, Fish Flakes that I'll find it useful and two pens as well which definitely I'll find a use for. I then picked up some dog freebies. Obviously I don't have a dog but my friend and neighbour has a Yorkshire Terrier called Sasha so whenever I go as they're handing them out and my friend's very into natural diets and looking into what's best for her dog so I always like to pick things up for her as she can't go herself so she can try different things and then research into them more if she wants to and I try and pick up all the leaflets for her and everything so Eden were giving out some free samples and they gave me quite a few so I've got two of the country cuisine duck lamb rabbit and venison with fruit and vegetables also in that and they've all got fruit and veg in them actually. These two here are salmon, herring, trout and catch of the day. This one here is chicken, salmon, herring and duck. So kind of a mixture of the two. 
So they gave me six freebies of that, so that's pretty good. And I've just got a couple of leaflets here. So it's kind of an all natural diet and you can find out all information here. But here are the three samples that I tried. So only the best ingredients offering the best nutrition, 80% meat, 20% fruit and veg, grain, gluten and white potato free, carefully tailored to match your dog's natural and ancestral intake for more information visit www.edenpetfoods.com so i thought my friend would quite enjoy trying some of those out as they're so natural i then picked up this free sample of the wonderboo swedish ox one meal small for a small dog and it's just a sample of one of their foods and they do a lot of again natural products and look how posh it looks this genuinely looks like it could be like a Pandora bracelet or something. But this is the leaflet. So I've never heard of them before. But they um, provide a lot of natural products. So it says here, a fair price from £2 a meal. Obviously, it's cheaper to make food that is composed of upwards of 80% carbohydrates like rice or corn than it is to use 80% beef, cod and rumen together with top quality Swedish ingredients. What's more, instead of quickly baking it at 250 degrees, we prefer to gently air dry Wonderboo at 50 degrees for 48 hours to preserve all the goodness. You would think a meal like this would cost you an arm and a leg, but the fact is you can buy a Wonderboo meal from as little as £2. And then it just says about the 20% voucher. So it says all on the inside how it's balanced out. And then it gives you an example of the different ingredient, not ingredients, flavours they have. So we've got the one I have here, which is the Swedish ox. Then they have Swedish cod and a light. And then puppy Swedish ox, puppy Swedish cod. So this is the one they recommended trying, which is the one I picked up. So that's the one I have and hopefully my friend might find some good use of that. It looks really posh anyway and um, I'm sure her little dog will enjoy it. And the last dog food product I picked up or free sample was from the For The Glade and they were really friendly. And this is again a natural product. Our natural and nutritious range is made in the beautiful rolling hills of Devon and it just gives a bit of information I've got another voucher there about how they're naturally made and everything and this is the free sample I had so this is natural turkey with sweet potato and vegetables it's for an adult adult of one to seven years grain free and it says here no artificial colors flavors or preservatives hypoallergenic contains salmon oil and seaweed no dairy products or eggs contains glucosamine i think that's how you say that and conodrotin grain free no wheat or gluten made for over 40 years in devon england and then this is what it looks like me and my friends were actually laughing at this because we thought it looked like a microwave meal and i guess that's kind of the idea but <laughs> but it really does look like a little microwave meal for a human so and it's a good free sample. I mean, it's a really big portion of a free sample. So that's pretty nice and will be worth trying as well. The only free, almost not a sample, but a free product I got for the small animals were these two willow type items. Now, I was pretty disappointed this year in the fact that they didn't really have much for small pets. They had good stalls and great items to purchase and everything but I do like to kind of learn about new products for small pets such as food and treats anything that they're advertising that's new there was a really good store that you'd have seen in the vlog where I think they were Burgess Excel and they were showing how to forage for rabbits but it was all rabbit based and I didn't really find anything that was kind of guinea pig based or a device or free samples of food that I could try with the guinea pigs to see which diet would be better for them you know I always hope that pet care always improves and improves so it's like with the cages how they constantly change although I like the diet they're on currently I'm always looking for better and better and better but there wasn't really anything on that this year which was a bit disappointing so 
it was pretty much just the stores that sold things that were suitable for them but anyway the only thing I could say I picked up for them which was three were these so every year they do willow ball making so they provide you a load of sticks and they do tutorials and kind of like a workshop on making toys for them and I'm really rubbish at that so I just made these willow hoops and they turned out okay and I'm sure they'll like them I'll hang them on the cage but it's a little freebie for them there were people much better there was someone making a teepee which was crazy good and people making willow balls but I was pretty rubbish and probably the worst to making these things but I came out with two willow hoops so you know so now onto the items that I purchased and I wasn't going to get an item of clothing originally but this was in a bargain bin and it was only £5 for the t-shirt and it was just a random collection of items so it was t-shirts and hoodies and they were different colours and sizes so you just had to grab whatever you thought. This is actually a little bit too big for me but I thought for £5 and I really like it I thought it'd be great for painting, for cleaning the animals, doing messy jobs like that where I want something baggy and big that I don't mind getting dirty so I thought this would be good for that as well as that it's in the colour I really like so that's always good and I can't remember what company with this was from because there's no information on the the label and the lady that served me was very rushed so I didn't really get to speak to her very much and I didn't really get to pick up any leaflets I didn't see any and she didn't provide me with any so unfortunately I can't reference where this is from but one of you guys might recognize it and be able to tell me but I have no idea but anyway this is what it looks like so it's this pink color and on the front it just says life without guinea pigs I don't think so and then on the back it also has guinea pigs on the kind of back of the neck so I thought that was really good for five pounds like I say it's a little bit big but it'll be great for cleaning out the animals on just kind of lazy days so I then went to cozy beds and burrows they have a website up there dot com and purchased a few items and this company are so good they are so willing to help you and advise you on what they recommend so friendly I always take the time to chat to them because they are so nice and they are, they really take the time and effort to make your products high quality so last year I think there's a picture on the front here actually I purchased a couple of these type level things so they're kind of little wire things and you have these fleece over over the wire and you hook them over the side of the cage and it creates a nice little bed for your pets and as well as that it's giving them a soft bed but it's not in the bedding so if you're you use bedding like I do it's not getting bedding all over it because it's raised above the cage but it's also giving them that extra bit of space and an extra bed without taking space out of the cage so I really like them and I've got two of them so I didn't need another wire thing but I thought I might as well purchase another new cover and I really like this one I don't usually give colours like this but I really like this it's almost like a ladybird colour it's just red with black polka dots it's the same on both sides and I thought it'd be really cute to have in the cage and I just thought it was worth purchasing a new cover so I could swap and change them and I'm sure these covers are only four pound or something similar they're not expensive at all really also purchased some of these hook type things from them they were selling these for 25 pence each and they're just really handy to have I just picked them up because I was there and I thought I could even use them to hang some of my fleece items up or some of my hay bags or toys or anything they're just handy and at 25 pence each I didn't really see them as expensive so I thought I'd purchase four of those and the last item I purchased from them is this carry pouch now before I talk to you about this I must give a shout out to Flamingo Pets Phoebe because I was at the stall and this is what I had in my head that I wanted before going to the pet show because I just think they're so adorable and I'll tell you why I want one in a minute but I just really wanted one and then when I went to the um Cozy Beds and Burrow shop and saw that they had them in the most adorable colours I got super excited and that's all I was talking about and I was jumping around and getting excited about these carry pouches and I didn't realise that Flamingo Pets Phoebe was stood right next to me waiting to talk to me and I was getting all excited and my friend was kind of nudging me and I was so embarrassed because I got 
way too excited for this carry pouch and Flamingo Pets Phoebe was stood there the whole time so sorry that I got over excited but she actually helped me choose this colour so thank you for your advice on that and it was so nice to talk to you even if I was a bit overexcited about something I probably shouldn't be but thank you for coming up to me chatting to me please go ahead and subscribe to her on youtube she has a youtube channel which is really good and an adorable little hamster called darwin and also an instagram so please go and follow her so onto the carry pouch this is what i had in my head the whole time i was at the pet show i really wanted one the last time we were in the birmingham show my friend said you need to get one of those and i didn't and i always thought afterwards i really would like one i thought this would be the best thing ever to use to carry the guinea pigs to the garden, to just carry them from here to there, you know, not far, to carry them into the house, to do photos, you know, little journeys like that from A to B. And I thought they were really cute. And because they're so soft and snuggly, the guinea pigs will feel so secure and safe in this. It's the perfect size for one guinea pig. And I mean, baby guinea pigs as well, if you have any pumpkin would love something like this. It comes with a really nice strong strap that's adjustable. And it's also got these little links on it. So it's really nice and safe. It's been sewn on really well nice and strong the fleece is really thick and it's got a kind of boning in the top so it stays open and also boning in the bottom the bottom is even thicker still so it's even thicker at the bottom making it nice and secure as well so i thought it'd be really great to use them for little journeys like that just taking them from the cage to the garden from the cage to the house you know little things like that just a handy little item i think and very very cute there was a selection of colors but I really like this one. I prefer to go for darker colours really because of the guinea pigs, you know, getting them dirty and with darker colours that don't tend to stain things. So I went for this one and I kind of went for this one because it's girly and pink. So I wanted a pink one, but also because it's kind of camouflage. It's kind of got a boy theme as well because Casper's a boy. So I kind of wanted a bit of both. But I had to go for something pink and obviously Flamingo Pets Phoebe helped me choose this. So I'm very happy with it. So <laughs> I think this is probably my favorite item of the whole haul. I really, really like it. I think it's so cute and such a good idea. Of course, I couldn't miss out Piggy Pig Pigs, my absolute favorite and we actually saved her stall till nearer the last because you know save the best till last and she's always so lovely to me and my friends she remembered me from the last show and i was so so thrilled that she remembered who i was i took a few toys for the guinea pigs for her again and it was so lovely to meet her again and have a photo and have a chat and everything and brian and Bo were there and father piggy pig pigs so it was very exciting to see them all again and see all of her amazing products her products are just so well made so detailed and so well put together the idea she comes up with a crazy good and me and my friend had a hard time choosing what we wanted it took us ages and we were there for such a long time but in the end I did decide on a couple of items and I'm really really happy with them I can't wait to give them to the guinea pigs I know they're going to love them and I just had it was probably my favourite part of the day, going to Piggy Pig Pigs, meeting her again, seeing all of her items and seeing Brian and Bo. The first item I purchased from her was this small cuddle cup and I didn't need, I didn't want a big item because the guinea pigs tend to either argue over them or they get them really dirty. So something like this just to, to fit one guinea pig or maybe two if pumpkin squeezes in there. But I thought these were really cute and I really like the pattern of this one because it's got cupcakes all over it and it's not too dark so it won't stain or anything and it's nice and strong as well so it kind of pops back up so they won't be able to knock it over or anything. I thought this would be cute to put on top of maybe my castle or inside my bus or something. It's just a nice little size for guinea pigs so I really, I'm really excited about this and it's got a little label on it there. I just think it's so cute. And my favourite colour too. Then I got a piggy dig. This is something I've never had before because I know there's a lot of this kind of similar looking item around. It's so soft and cushy inside. The guinea pigs are going to love this. And this, I like these colours a lot, especially this colour. But it's not something I usually always go for pink, which is, isn't good really. I should go for different colours. But I love this pattern. Look how adorable. And I think she had some items of this pattern in 
the cage with Brian and Bo and I just think it's so adorable with the red and it's so kind of summer spring themed with the little butterflies and ladybirds and everything and it actually goes with my item from the Cozy Beds and Burrows the little item here so it's very cute and I couldn't resist this I was planning on purchasing just the one item but I couldn't resist and her items last so well and they're so well made and really thought out I just had to purchase another one so I'm excited to particularly to give this to the guinea pigs because they haven't had anything before. I think they'll really like the security of it being inside a soft, cosy, hidey house. I hope they don't wreck it though because I really like this, especially the pattern on it. It's, it's so cute. And finally, Laura from Piggy Pig Picks gave me some signs. I'm so grateful. Thank you so much for these signs. She gave me some at the last show and saw on Instagram, I posted a post because I put them stupidly in the wrong place. I put them on my top cage on the glass, but they were overlooking the bottom cage and they must have dropped off one day. I went into the cage and they were completely chewed up. The guinea pigs had chewed them to nothing and I was so cross with the guinea pigs. I was so annoyed with them because they were my piggy pig pig sign that I'd had personally from Laura. So I was really disappointed. But then um, she'd remembered that, so it was so nice of her. And she gave me, and I didn't realize until I got home that I'd had four signs off her. I am so grateful, thank you so much. You don't even know how much these mean to me. I'm going to be putting them all over the shed. They're going to look so awesome. They are not going near the guinea pigs because they're not going to chew them this time, the little monkeys. But thank you so much. So I've got this, cool piggies live here. I love guinea pigs. Pampered piggies live here and pampered piggies live here, but with a green one, with little Gus and Chewy, so cute. And I love these so much. They're going to look so cool in the shed. I might put some on the door and along the cage where they won't drop into another cage. I just think they're so cute. So those are all of the items I either purchased or got free from the pet show. And I'm so happy with the items I got this year. My two favourites are this carrying kind of bag thing and the piggy dig from Piggy Pig Pigs, especially the pattern. And I'm so excited to give them to the guinea pigs. I think they're gonna really like them. So I hope you've enjoyed this haul and particularly the vlog because it's been done a little differently this year with talking and everything. I hope you enjoyed that. Please let me know down below. Comment now below also what you either enjoyed in the vlog or if you went, what you personally saw and enjoyed or comment down below what your favorite product is in the haul. Thanks so much for watching this year's vlog and haul. Remember, I'll be going to the Birmingham one in November, I think it is. So there'll be another one to come soon, well, next few months. But thank you so much for watching. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe and all that jazz. I'll see you very soon. Bye, everyone.